What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I wanted to do a video on Feature Man because if you go outside of Girl World, and, and honestly, even if you just stay within the realm of Girl World, you've probably seen a Feature Man video come up in a recommended, or you've seen someone that's recommended it to you because this is an older gentleman that did a lot of food reviews, would go to a lot of fast food places, would have a lot of recipes, so it wouldn't be out of the ordinary for you to end up on his channel or at least in one of his videos. Now, what I found interesting about it is he never strayed away from his real name, which was Thomas Willett. And in fact, he would constantly talk about and tell stories of his acting career. Now, he was kind of what I would call uh, an advanced extra in a lot of movies, meaning, you know, he was more than just someone standing there in a shot. He might have, you know, a couple lines of dialogue, but he certainly wasn't, you know, the star of the movie or the main attraction in a film, but it was enough for you to look at him in kind of a revered light of, hey, this is a guy that was in Hollywood that did a good bit of acting and has quite a resume built for himself on films that he's been in that you may or may not ever see, but I would say for at least a couple of the films, especially some of like the 80s comedies, I was familiar with, with the movies enough to go through and watch them again and try to pick out where he was. It was kind of a fun thing to do. So anyway, his channel always provided kind of just mindless watching. It was a channel you would go to, you would watch the video, and you really wouldn't require too much thought. He was kind of known for very simplistic editing, uh, very basic production, if you will. But if you haven't seen, he has now deleted a mass amount of videos. I, I mean, perhaps more videos than I've ever seen anyone delete. And it makes me think if YouTube actually goes and looks at what its creators are doing. Because at face value, there's a giant red flag here. I mean, he literally deleted 42 million. I, I don't mean that any light way. 42 million. More than likely a quarter million dollars worth of videos got deleted in a single day. If that's not a red flag of, let's look into what was going on here, I don't know what is. If you go to his channel now, you'll see the most recent videos are about six years old. There's a community post from about two weeks ago, but everything is just being plastered with his past. Now, his past is a little bit, I don't want to say tricky, but in reading into it, it, it's hard for me to compartmentalize because it did happen in such a different time and a different landscape. So from what we know, he was found guilty on three counts of having an interaction with a child that he should not have had. And how those apparently came about was he was going out to youth homes where he was a musician, and from there, either directly taking advantage of them or inviting them back to his home, attempting to take advantage of them. And the reason some of this is hard to kind of accept or understand is because it, it looks like what had happened was he was essentially given three life sentences, and then that kind of devolved into a slap on the wrist, which ultimately he tried to get expunged from his record. So you have like the most serious of serious crimes, but then the end result seems to be just a few months of probation. And as I said, even saying it out loud now, it doesn't make any sense. I've, I've never heard of someone going from three life sentences to six months probation to then having an acting career, having, you know, a massive YouTube channel. But you also have to understand at least the scope of these charges to YouTube was some 50 years that passed. And it's odd that as much as he was, like I said, so front and center about who he was, where he lived, what he did, what he had done, that no one really ever put two and two together. And perhaps they didn't because it is a semi-common name, but I know a lot of people have looked at this and have really kind of been awestruck that 
here was, again, someone that you watched and maybe had some level of trust in, maybe you even had some enjoyment in watching, and then you learn the things that they're responsible for, and the only way they can bat this is seemingly attempting to just disappear from YouTube, and the fact of the matter is he did do a video that spoke to this. Uh, I've tried to watch it, uh, but it is a little bit difficult to watch because you kind of get this impression that he's almost braggadocious about what happened, and he almost wants to project himself as a hero in the story where, you know, all of these things were mounted against him at a time where, you know, he just wanted to... I, I don't even know the words to use. Um, it's almost like he just wanted to do what he wanted to do, and everyone was against that. But he doesn't understand that he should not have ever been doing what he was doing with the people of that age group. And by no means was he even close to a victim in this story. In fact, many would paint him as the perpetrator. Many would paint him as an absolute monster for doing this. Um, so to see him kind of so brazenly stand there and look into the camera and project at how he was wronged and, and how almost we should feel or have felt some type of sympathy for him as he navigated the judicial system in trying to get this expunged from his record and failed to do so completely, but also got what many would see the most minimalist of punishments by any standard, much less today's standard, where these crimes are taken extremely seriously. I mean, in fact, if you go back and look at what happened with uh, Jerry Sandusky in, in Penn State, I mean, I don't want to put them in the same light because there's far more victims, but I do want to put them in the same perspective of, you know, this is somebody that was relatively well-known, that clearly had had issues doing this and taking advantage of people in very much the same way, and if they had given Jerry Sandusky a quarter of what they projected to give him with his crimes, then there would have been extreme outrage, which is why when you look at the initial sentencing of, even as Feature Man defines it, three life sentences to not even atone or account ultimately for one is quite strange. And I don't know if I've ever seen a story where someone has such forgiveness in a record and it's interesting to go back and read it because a lot of this happened so long ago it, it does seem like some of the stories are opinion based but at the same time there is no getting around the fact that at least from the outside looking in and seeing how he has handled this by deleting so many videos you have to at least look at it and say that he knows the gig is up he knows that perhaps the success that he had after this would only be for a limited time. And maybe back in the 70s, 80s, maybe even in the early 90s where the internet was less prominent, this is something he very well could have lived his entire life and, and never have spoke about. And then obviously just almost you would think as an older person that makes content on this platform, which there's not many of them, there, there's not many people in their, in their 80s and 90s that have successful YouTube careers, it was only really because of that success that any of this would have even been discovered, even been a talking point. So to that, I guess he is a victim of his own success but only in that that further exposed the crimes that he had done that may have otherwise never even seen the light of day had he just lived a life outside of social media. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. If you watched him, if you've went back and seen how many videos got deleted, if you're astonished that you would watch his videos and never have connected him to such heinous crimes, but now, obviously, when you watch his videos, or I know at least when I even try to, I just have a very different perception of him, and honestly don't even want to watch the videos, given what I know now. Again, I would love to know your thoughts on this. I appreciate you watching it. You know I will be back as soon as I can with more content.